Hey everyone, it's Jason Dunn here from Windows Phone Thoughts. And my last video in this marathon of videos is taking a closer look at the uh, photo, video, and zoom functionality. So I've done the desktop sync. Uh, I've pulled over, you know, um, a bunch of content and put it on my device. And now we can take a look at what it is. Now, first thing to notice, the pictures tab, uh, or sort of the pictures live tile, it actually shows you one of your own pictures. So this, when it says art show here, that's actually a photo I took. So number one, Really cool, uh, you know, really neat to sort of to, to feel like the interface is actually part of some stuff that you did. The same thing it does here is is um, it actually takes uh, the background and makes it the makes the background the most recent picture that you took. So in this case, this is the most recent photo that I've taken. So again, really, really uh, neat, neat feature. Um, over here, it has a whole bunch of uh, recent pictures. When you go over to the What's New tab, this is again more from the uh, you know Facebook uh, kind of social network networking side of things. If I go in here under date, I can see a whole bunch of uh, different pictures and they're all sorted by date. If I go over into, uh, let me see, if I go into all, it should show me, yeah, so these are actually different folders um, on my device. So let's say I wanna go into um, vacations and as you can see, I have a Hawaii 2006 vacation. Uh, it took me a long time to edit those photos, like a couple of years, uh, long story. Anyway, I can see uh, it maintains the folder structure, so I can actually go into here and say Hawaii Day 3, and then here's all my pictures from Hawaii Day 3, and if I want to, I can click on the first one, and I should be able to, yeah, there's, there's a couple options, right? I can use it as a wallpaper, delete it, upload it to SkyDrive, uh, share, I'm gonna assume that share maybe is, yeah, Facebook. Okay, so it's uh, messaging, uh, actually, yeah, so that's basically gonna be uh, an uh, uh, MMS, right? Uh, I can share by Outlook, Facebook, or SkyDrive, and I would assume that if I had, you know, Gmail and other things, it would actually be added onto there, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, if we go into um, different mode here, so as you can see, I can uh, flip through, you know, um, the pictures, um, what's I guess a little bit surprising is that I'm not seeing, uh, okay, let's try this, if I do this, I'm not seeing a slideshow function, like I'm not, I'm not seeing an actual, you know, kind of click here and then they'll, they'll automatically advance. I'm going to wait a couple seconds here and see if it automatically advances on its own. I kind of don't think it will, so that's kind of weird. Uh, if you're going to show people pictures, you should probably have a built-in slideshow function. That seems to be just kind of natural to me. But again, uh, it's really fast. It's really fluid. You can double tap here. You can zoom around, you know, the image. Um, let's say that I see, I like that image, and, and, and I decide that um, I want to make it my uh, wallpaper. That's kind of cool. So it, it gives you the ability to say, okay, you know, exactly what do you want to make your wallpaper based on those dimensions? I'll say yes. Now that's done. So I'm going to go back out. I'm going to turn off the phone. I'm going to turn back on the phone. Uh, oops, turn back on the phone. There we go. Boom. And now I have that as my um, lock screen wallpaper. So really cool, really super easy to customize. And again, yeah, I just, I, I really love it. Like I dig it. I think it's, I think it's really cool. Let me go back here in here to uh, pictures. I think that's, that's kind of the, the basic functionality. Like I think, I think what I can probably do here is here. I can go, I can go in by date. Um, let's say I, I really, I really like this picture. I can add it. I can add it to favorites. And then uh, on the favorites tab, yeah, favorites, I can actually see my favorite picture there. So again, yeah, uh, really, really nice, really, really easy to use. It would be nice to have some sort of slideshow function, maybe some kind of a Ken Burns, you know, zoom and pan kind of thing, but maybe they'll add that a little bit later. The next thing I want to show you is uh, music and video. So like I mentioned, I synchronized this with the uh, Zoom desktop client, so now I have uh, music and pictures on it here. You can see uh, this is basically everything that's new. As you can see, I have a, a bunch of uh, Glee stuff on here. I can go in here into uh, music. Basically, I did a sync, um, uh, all my music from basically 2009. So if I can go in here and I can say, okay, I want to look at Eminem, I want to look at um, this. Now, uh, I'm gonna pause it right there because YouTube copyright law says that I can't, you know, let you listen to music, but let's do this. Let's turn down the volume. And then, oh, that's actually kind of cool. You see, there, there, there's controls up there. So that, that that's pretty sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna you know, turn that on. Now it's playing, but uh, there's no audio. So basically this is just 
how this would work and you go, you know, next track, previous track. That's the only track on the album that I have. But I can go in here, um, I can pick, you know, um, other, other music. I want to check out some Maroon 5, whatever it might be. Now, here's a little test. I'm going to see if this works the same way that the Zune does. Let's just start. Let's just start playing it here. We'll wait a couple seconds. What the Zune HD does is it actually downloads uh, information kind of in the background. It'll show you, you know, pictures of the artists, um, information about the artists, and I'm not seeing anything. So I think what that means is that the the, uh, the Zune HD client on the Windows phone on Windows Phone 7 is not as feature complete as the client is on the Zune HD. That's actually really disappointing because what I was hoping for was a really complete, rich experience that I would be able to uh, replace my Zune HD with. But obviously, this this is not that experience. Um, it does, in fact, it doesn't seem like you can do anything. I mean, when I, when I click on, you know, Maroon Five, I want to see band bio information or whatever, and I'm I'm not. I'm not actually seeing this. I'm seeing, you know, it says in collection, but on the Zune HD, it'll actually show me what's in the marketplace. So yeah, so it looks like the Zune experience on the Windows Phone 7 is not uh, not not feature complete, but it is still, let's let's face it, a really nice, really beautiful, easy to use way of actually interfacing um, with your music, you know, via albums, um, via playlists, via genres. So if there's a particular genre I want to listen to some hip hop or whatever, then uh, boom, away it goes. So yeah, so that is the Zune experience for uh, music. I'm just going to do the Zune experience for um, videos. As you can see, it shows me the history, which is kind of cool. Basically, what I played last and then what I played recently. So that's I like that. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's let's go into uh, videos here, uh, and it should. Oh, sorry, I take it back. I didn't actually synchronize over any videos. What I synchronized over was uh, podcasts. So I think I should have a video podcast. Yeah, there we go. There's new movie trailers. Um, these are movie trailers directly from uh, the Zune desktop. And if I click on this, I should see the Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows uh, movie trailer. And I'm not sure if I can click on that. Yeah, so it looks like I can't do any kind of fit to screen. So that's basically just how it looks there. So yeah, again, really, really neat feature, really easy way to get stuff from your desktop computer onto your um, your Windows Phone 7. Uh, really nice, really rich integration. Not quite as full featured as the Zune HD, but pretty close. So there you go. That has been a look at the Zune HD, sorry, the Zune um, photos, um, music, and videos kind of all together as part of one look. This has been Jason Dunn from Windows Phone Thoughts. Thanks for watching. Please uh, rate the video, post a comment. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching.